Hello, hello, and welcome to the tier list of Andy's TV shows. Um, first of all, thank you for the 101 subscribers. Very cool, very cool. Mm. This better not awaken anything in me. I think all of these I've started watching since the pandemic started. So these are the ones that got me as far through the pandemic as we are now. <laughs> okay, first off, most recently watched... The boys. <sighs> Gonna put it up high because I'm I freaking loved it. Just finished season two. Very good. I'm gonna move them around because most tier lists you put it in order of like usually there's like an S tier, multiple ones could be in there. This is the best shows. You could put all the worst shows in the bottom, multiple on each row, but I'm going to actually try to put them in order of how I like them, because I like all of these shows. They'd all be up high, and there wouldn't be any low. So, boys up top might move it. You're a fucking pathetic cunt. Next, we're going to do Travelers, which I haven't finished all the seasons. Um... And I can't say for sure I wouldn't be watching it if my wife wasn't still <laughs> super into watching it. It's good to chill out to, but definitely not near the boys. Not as satisfying as the boys. We've just changed history. I thought that would be a bigger deal. Okay. <laughs> Alright, next let's do The Witcher. Everyone on Earth knows what The Witcher is. Did your motherfucker snowman? Um... Watched it through twice, so it's definitely going to be high. I don't even usually watch shows through more than once. Um, but I think... I'm going to put it under the boys for now. Let's see. I'll get to that, because yeah, I'm going to put it under there for now. Um, this show, The OA, very unique show. Not like any of the other ones, in my opinion. I highly re recommend watching this show. It's definitely going to be high. Um, as my favorite scene of all time, which is this. I gotta go. I, I'm eating a sandwich. All right, but I'm going to leave it in number two, tied for two for now. Let's go to the Umbrella Umbrella Academy, Academy has two seasons. Um, very good to chill out to, kind of like The Travelers. If I'm watching either of these shows, I'm just kind of chilling. I'm not super stressed about what's happening, even even though like there's intense stuff that happens, but I'm kind of like, eh, you know, this is this is it's like good for background. Like if I was working on something, maybe I might have this on in the background. Imagine Batman and aim lower. Similarly, Community, I can put on the background. It's gonna get docked probably a little bit because I know I'm just have nostalgia for it. But it also I think just deserves points because it was just built for nostalgia. Like I think if you watch this and you've never watched it before, the music and general vibe of it would have you thinking like oh that's nice here's another one everybody knows the mandalorian um definitely i like enjoyed this one a lot i don't like star wars that much to be honest like i really like obi-wan kenobi i won't forget and thank you and a lot of like themes in star wars but i don't like everything about it and and the show just like despite that I just enjoyed probably every single episode of it. Um, it's gonna be fighting pretty high to the top, so I'm just gonna slide it up here, and then eventually I'll push these down. Outlander, highly recommend. I don't know if people watch Outlander a lot. I thought like we were the only people on Earth watching it. Take me home to Ladderbrock. What are you watching? A show called Eat My Dick. Okay. I feel like nobody ever mentioned it ever but um it's got a ton of seasons so i'm sure people know what it is i don't think i could watch it through again <laughs> just because it's like painful um like there's like probably violence in all of these ones but this one just like hurts me to watch i'm gonna leave it um it's gonna be high but i'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there for now and then we'll, after i mention each one of these i'll slide them around these two shows are very similar i saved them for last they're made by the same people have the same actors basically there's haunting of hill house 
and then The Haunting of Bly Manor. One is definitely better than the other, and it's Bly Manor way better than Hill House. They're both good, but this one is the one to watch first, in my opinion, just in case, like, if you don't like Bly Manor, you're not going to like Hill House, in my opinion. So I'd say watch one, and if you like the, that one, maybe watch this one. And maybe you'll, maybe you'll like Hill House better, but I just thought the characters were way more likable in, in Bly Manor. Um, I don't know, I really like the characters to be likable. One of my shows is missing from this. What the f- One moment. Okay, we're just gonna Photoshop in Al- Not Outlander. Um, Last Kingdom. Gotta freaking watch it for this guy. Your woman's got the balls of a bear. I like her. Everything about the show is good. I'm gonna watch it a thousand times. So good. Um, you're gonna hear the word Lord a million times. Lord. 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 Morning, Lord. Lord. Okay, leave that one on top. There's no argument. It's going on top where it's photoshopped in. I'm gonna slide. I'm gonna put OA second because it's very different than the other ones. It's not as action oriented. Um, like you might watch the first few episodes and think like, wow, this, this is, you know, where's the speed? But I was just very interested in the theme of it. And it had me, it just, it was very good at making it interesting to me. So I would give it at least a couple episodes before you decide if you do watch it. Um, I'm gonna move this down. I just really like the characters in Outlander, so it's gonna put it high. Like, if I like more than a couple characters in a show, it's gold, because then I'm just like, I'm not waiting for that one character to come on screen. Um, I do not have enough spots. What the heck? <laughs> oh yeah, it's because I didn't make one for Last Kingdom. Um, we are gonna put... I'm just gonna tie these two, because these are both on the same field. And there you have it. Wow, I cannot forget. <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot. <laughs> um, Lucifer ties for first. And the new season's coming out, so uh, honorable first place tie mention. All right, that's it. My name's Beatrice, but everybody calls me Trixie. That's a hooker's name. What's a hooker? Ask your mother. 